Hi, my name is Daniel Farrell. I work at Overland Park Regional Medical Center. I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in joint replacement and sports medicine. I think the two main advantages with the robotic assisted surgery is that to shape the end of the bone, the data that we put into this machine knows exactly where the bone, the edges of the bone are. So when I'm using the robot, using the, the robotic saw or burr, it will only cut the areas that need to be cut. It won't cut past the edges of the bone. So what's helpful about that is you don't need to make the exposures that you once did. You can leave the knee in a nice reduced fashion and then access the areas that need to be cut very safely without a big exposure. What's exceptional about robotic assisted surgery is that at this point we can very accurately just take the diseased part of the knee and resurface it. For example, the medial compartment is a more common area that we see that's very arthritic. It spares the anterior cruciate and the posterior cruciate ligaments, so the mechanics of the knee are maintained. All we've done is just resurface the diseased area of the bone, leaving the entire mechanics of the knee normal. With the traditional total knee, the cruciates are, are gone. So the mechanics of this knee are completely artificial. It's no longer a, a, a normal rollback that we see. We try to reproduce that with the engineering, but you can't do it. When you do a partial, cruciate sparing partial replacement, the mechanics of the knee are left alone. What's nice about that, I think those people can be more active. They can do probably more uh, activities that are traditionally done with you know normal knees. Through minimally invasive or less invasive type exposures, quadriceps sparing exposures, people are climbing stairs faster, in and out of the chair faster, so I think that's helpful um, with this new technology. Typically patients are going home the next day from surgery. There are a lot of outpatient programs out there I like to keep my patients in house a day just to make sure there's not the nausea or any issues with the anesthetic, just to keep an eye on them overnight and work with the physical therapist, make sure they're comfortable. And it's a discussion between you and I when the time to go home and go and start physical therapy on your own.